Welcome back, guys. It is the Brothers Geek Out podcast. I hope you guys are all been well and safe. A uh, bit of a late one, guys, so it will be out probably later on t- tomorrow. Actually, what am I talking about? You're going to listen to it, and it's just going to be one of them days. <laughs> it's going to come out when it comes out. Uh, but I hope you guys are well. Uh, it's been a busy one. Uh, how you been, G, man? I've been good, bro. Busy as well, man. We've got our stuff from Singapore, as you can see. I'm mic'd up. I've got my hat. I've got my headphones i got my punisher like been <laughs> setting up got, we got our stuff yesterday morning just been setting up just so yeah. difficult to set up you know a lot of the figures and just everything man the map it's crazy how much you can accumulate from a one bedroom flat and then i pull it in my my place now and i'm just like how the hell did i accumulate all this shit um, yeah, quite anyway, a lot of stuff bro that's what i was trying to wonder as well a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. And it's just kind of like, where do I put all this shit? With my figures, I'm, I'm being a bit uh, selective now. I think I'm yeah. going to put some in storage and try and sell them. Um, but yeah, yeah, other than that, man, just excited. I think we finally settled down. Now we've got all our stuff. I could finally say we've settled down. Just, you know, just going to be sorting out stuff for the next couple of weeks uh, or a couple of days until we come to London next week. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, hopefully you can hear me better. It should be less echo, hopefully. Like, got mic on, got the camera, got the lighting. Yeah, man. Good yep, to go. Bro, quality is back, this. bro. Quality is back. It's all good. How you been? Uh, busy one as well, bro. Helping mum and dad with the other place, with your place. Uh, uh, we had a princess and superhero party yesterday, which Idris just killed it, bro. Awesome. He was so he was so cool as Spider-Man, bro. I, I loved it. It was... Uh, he was striking all the poses and people were like, pose, and he was like, pow. Oh, uh, awesome. It was good. It was good. Uh, Lara enjoyed it as well. It was really good. I, I dressed up as Iron Man, fat Iron Man, bro, with jokes, bro. <laughs> I'm in the room and they were like, that's not Iron Man. He's fat. <laughs> like, man, just crushed my dreams. But <laughs> well, that was like that Black Panther thing we saw, which was hilarious. Oh, bro. bro. I got a refund. <laughs> Me and oh, Dwayne could is. not stop laughing, bro. We were just like, what sort of waste man goes to that kid party like that? Bro, he was he was breaking it down, bro. He was so loose. He was loving it. He was loving it, bro. It was uh it was the way they said we got a refund at the end, or the black alley cat just killed me, bro. Oh we're my supposed God. to get Black Panther, but we ended up getting Black Alley Cat. It was jokes. My, that's uh, jokes. But yeah, other than that, bro, I've been ill this week was a tough one. I'm trying to work ill. Push through, it's got cold. Uh, and then that's about it, man. Things quieting down. I thought Disney and 20th Century Fox would have hooked a brother up for the Avatar premiere, but nah, not even nah. a screening. Uh, yeah, that's I only for uh, exclusives, but I haven't heard nothing yet. I haven't heard nothing yet. I suppose that's the, the last film I'm going to see before, you know, 2022 ends, bro. Yeah, I guess so. Me too, as well. I'm going to um, watch it this weekend. Uh, yeah. before we come to London man I mean I think I might try and watch the first one again I'm not listen I'm not the Avatar made the billions yeah I wasn't I contributed one time towards that and I reckon <laughs> part two I'm going to contribute one I'm, it's, it's, I mean I, I, you know I guess I'm it, I, how do I pull it man I'm not saying it's shit or anything because obviously it was made billions it's just not it's just my not movie, but I could definitely watch it once and enjoy it for what it is and the spectacle of what it is but um yeah. yeah, yeah. I will contribute one time towards it. Uh, I mean, I'll check it out. I'll see if Dad wants to go watch it. We'll we'll, we'll go check it out and watch it. But other than that, uh, you know what? Yeah, I think that'll be the in, last movie of the year. Uh, in but Singapore, we've got to do in, Singapore, so. in Dubai. In Dubai, yeah. there's the the biggest screen size in the whole UAE. <laughs> Apparently, its size is bigger than two tennis courts. What? Right? Yes, that's what they say. It's bigger than two tennis courts. So I think I might do it. Yeah, just, just because of the fact that I'm not saying that I'm a massive Avatar fan, but just because of the work that's put into it, just because of yeah. the years that's put into it. Yeah. You know, the 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 I'm sure the impeccable um you know uh attention to detail and graphics and all that sort of stuff. I think yeah. I might just do it for this movie, bro, just just to kind of see it on the on 
on the biggest screen in the UAE. So I think I might do that this weekend on Friday or Saturday. Why not, man? Why not? That'd be yeah. awesome, bro. I mean, how far are you from like the town and stuff like that? Bro, with a car, 30 minutes, right? Oh, longest okay, drive, decent. 45 minutes, like longest. Yeah. Uh, which is nothing. I mean, look, it could take 30 minutes for me to get to Wood Green or 45 no, no, minutes exactly. to get bro, to Bro, it's house. even longer now. So, uh, so <laughs> that's decent. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, it's decent. I mean, it, it's like I say, is having a car here is, is, is the best thing. But yeah, I think I might do that, man. The biggest screen in UAE, just watch Avatar before we come to London. Yeah, no, I mean, listen, man, that'd be that'd be awesome. I'll probably catch it as well, but I haven't seen no reviews or anything on it yet. Uh, I haven't, to be honest, I haven't caught up on much what's going on. There's quite a lot going on, man. There's the internet has sparked up with DC stuff, and you know, we'll it's, it's been madness. But we'll we'll get onto that, man. Let's let's jump in. Well, all right. Well, let's jump in. Well, I mean, like movie stuff, bro. I have been watching a movie just now, and I've got the last ten minutes to watch. Actually, yeah. Will Smith's. New movie, Im- Iman- Emancipation. Emancipation. Yeah. Emancipation. And, you know, bless Will Smith. And my guy gave me gave us three months, two months of Apple Apple TV for free with his, <laughs> check out his Insta, Insta and whatnot. So I immediately downloaded it, <laughs> watched the movie. Um, I, I got the last 10 minutes on, um, but I'll finish that later on. It's, it's deep. Do you know the reason why, it, I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, I wanted to watch it anyway. It's a piece of history is based on mm. real events. But what came to me first when when he was talking about it and they showed the um I don't want to say epic picture, the historical picture of the the man uh who had all the whips on his back. Yeah. It reminds it's the photo from Dead Prez Get Free and Die Trying. Remember that album oh, cover? Remember yes, back, that's right. Yeah. Remember, I used to listen to that album religiously back in yeah, 1996 yeah, yeah. or whatever. It was one of my favorite albums of all time. And you know what? To this day, it's one of the best albums, right? I used to yeah, love yeah, yeah. that. And uh, the back of that cover was that picture. Yeah. And that movie <laughs> is about the individual who, who escaped. Because that movie is about freedom. The way Will Smith expressed it is yeah. it's not just a, a movie about slavery. It, this is a movie about freedom because it's about that. It's around that time when Lincoln uh, declared uh, uh, freedom for, for mm. slaves. So it was that escape to freedom and whatnot. And that epic picture was based on that, that individual. Uh, Thomas, his name was Thomas. Oh shit! I lose, man. Stephen. Oh, no, I lose. Peter. Sorry, Peter. Sorry, uh, right. that was his name. I can't remember his surname or whatnot. But um, is listen as as you would imagine, it's Will Smith, fucking amazing, right? Performance. You can't. You you he. You know his performance is always second to none. Uh, mm. Amazing performance, and then also the contrast of the movie, the coloring. It's not black and white, but it's this dark tone of contrast in the movie, mm. and it's. It's the it's it's really good. It's a really good again part of history. Will Smith's amazing performance, the cinematography and the contrast of it. It's it's definitely worth a watch, man. It's it's hard. It's it's a hard one. I get I, all these movies are hard to be honest with you, but this is this is another one to to definitely check out. But like I said, because it's based on that picture, which I'm very familiar with because of that Dead Prez album. It just was like, oh, I see where that, I know where that came from now. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? So we didn't know the history behind it, but now we do. It, it, exactly, exactly. And of course, that picture's been out there. I, it obviously, it wasn't Dead Prez. Dead Prez promoted it to me. I mean, this is the power of, you know, the Dead Prez and their album what, and the message that they were trying to get out there. And obviously, I was young. I didn't know. But now I know. I'm like, oh, shit, that's where that picture came from. And that's his story behind it. So... Again, you know, Kibbs, check it out. It's it's very it's it's a hard watch. It's a good watch, but hard as in you know the shit that you have to see and that they put on. You know, they it's shit you have to watch and what people went through. It's always tough to see. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, of course, of course, of course. No, I'm gonna check it out. That's my probably gonna be my movie tonight, bro. I'm I'm done for the you, day. So did you download the Will Smith two month free as well? Yeah. No, no, no. I did. <laughs> Do you have that? Do you have, have you have you got Apple TV? No, no. I uh. When I uh, what did I do recently? When I my coffee machine, they gave me Apple TV for six months, but I haven't watched anything, bro. But anyway, talking about coffee machine, Nespresso, you're a bump, man. Fuck you, not man. Very excited that I got a Wi-Fi, a Bluetooth fucking coffee machine. Not motherfuckers are, so I don't get in trouble. Uh, fucking subscription bastards. 
swindled me into fucking a subscription for 12 months, you sons of bitches, man. Uh, so what happens is I go in, get this coffee machine. You know, it's £100. It used to be 200 Next thing it says, oh, get £150 off your coffee. So I was like, oh, yeah, man, that's cool, man. That means, you know, every time I order, I get money off. Bro, what they, if you don't read the small print, and that's my fault, I should have read the small print, got excited, come home, new coffee machine, two weeks later, trying to apply for this 150 fucking get my coffee shit. I'm putting my order through and no money's coming off it. It's only coming off the subscription, which is £25 a month. And then I was like, oh, no, this is, what's going on? So I call up, like, you know, the customer service and abuse them on Twitter. I was like, you guys are bumps. Uh, they were like, oh, yeah, no, they should have told you in the shop that it's not money off your coffee. It's money off your subscription. But I was like, it doesn't say that on the box. What it says is it's £150 off. Uh, but they use their wordings, bro, my dyslexia just... I was like, just fuck you lot, man. Just cancel the thing, man. And so I can, I don't want to be paying no 12 month subscription. We in a cost of living crisis and I'm paying 50 pound for coffee. Are you mad? But Both, wait, man. subscription to what? You've lost me, man. How do you subscribe to coffee? They send you coffee, like the little sachets or something every mm. month. If that, oh, I see. And what do you, what do you do with a Bluetooth coffee machine, man? What the fuck? I don't, I don't, what you, anyway, I don't man, know it was just a gimmick, bro. Just, we needed yeah. a new coffee machine. I have one busted. Man's got internet on his coffee machine, man. That shit better, like, what the hell does a coffee machine provide you, bro? Apart from coffee? No, you well, it does loads of other stuff as well, bro, man. But I was just gutted, well, man. Like, that, you know, they they like bumped us and my, my dyslexia didn't catch that last bit, man. Fucking he's trying to charge me <laughs> £25 a month and shit for coffee. Still don't get the money off, you know what I mean? So oh, anyway, man. anyway, well, that's well, that's another thing about getting bumped, bro. Uh I don't I don't blame. Listen, man, listen, listen. When you when when I moved here, we bought everything, right? Everything. Yeah. So could you imagine like buying a whole bunch of shit, everything you need for the house, and the amount of things that are gonna be faulty and not what it looked like, and this and that, and the amount of returns and things. But we bought a marble dinner table. Yeah. Right. My 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 thing is bent, bro. It's it's bending, and we're okay. like, hold on, is that right? Marble. So they yeah. So they came over. And they were like, oh, it's like that. I'm like, well, the description doesn't say like that. And I'm sure no table is supposed to be bending a little bit, right? Next thing, they bring in the next one. But this thing is so heavy, the six mans have to bring it in, right? So they call back up or whatnot. So they open up this new one, and this new one's bendy. And we're like, all right, then if that's the case, then just leave it. Bro, we started seeing cracks on the side of it. So we called them immediately. I'm like, this thing is cracking and it's ready to break. Like, you'd come check it out. So they come, the guy immediately was, immediately was like, be careful. Like, we're going to we're gonna report this. We're going to sort it out. But please be careful. Because this thing looks like it's bending. And But if I gave it a karate chop like Mortal Kombat 1, remember that when you press A and B or something and you have to chop that shit? <laughs> that thing's breaking, bro. I could do it. That's what I'm saying. I would have passed that level and break that shit right now. So anyway, we're getting a new table. But... The amount of shit that we've been going back yeah. and forth, little mistakes here and there, the lamps and customer services. Some places, but well, the table people, customer services on point, but other mm. places about customer services, very sick, as you can imagine. Um, anyway, I don't know how we go into that, but... All right, let's go, let's go, let's continue, news, let's continue. News, watch in, in, Emancipation, great movie, Will Smith just doing what he's... He's, he's fucking amazing at what he does, you know what I'm saying? A-class, mm. top quality. So, anyway, cool. What else, bro? Let's move into it. Uh, Christopher Judge, some video game stuff here, bro. Christopher Judge wins Best Performance Award as Kratos Game Award 2022. I don't watch the Game Awards. I just saw Al Pacino, which is a big thing, presenting yeah. the award. And Kratos, listen, I've said this before. Kratos from God of War is the greatest of all time video game characters. I mean, Solid Snake's up there as well. Mm. Um I think, in my opinion, sorry. Um, but this game, I can't, but listen, when we come back to UK and I'm going to come back with my PS5, um, sorry, Idris, I'm taking that PS5. I'm going to buy that game. I can't wait to play it on my TV. I'm, I'm going to set it all up. I can't wait. But Kratos, man, listen, if you if you played all the God of War games, just that character, he's so badass, bro. It's fucking amazing. Um, so anyway, mm. guy, Christopher Judge, well-deserved. I mean, when I say well-deserved, I mean... I don't know much about the background, but well-deserved anyway. Um, okay. 
moving on, I'm sure you've seen Asher play the game. That must be sick, right? Have you seen him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen. And I, I know, I know the actor. He's from uh, Stargate. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I know you I forgot who you do. Yeah, yeah. Is he, he was... the one that used to have the thing on his head? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. I wish we'd done more, like in regards to video game stuff for the channel, like recording Ash playing it. And we're gonna, you know what? That's that's 2023, oh, bro. That's that's gonna be the next thing. Uh, a a week, live sh- weekly live stream on YouTube. Ash just plays his game. He doesn't even have to say anything. Man just plays his game. We we're gonna we're gonna do that. The 2023, like 2022 is probably one of the you know a, a highlight of 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 the podcast. Be us doing it for eight years. Uh, 2023. We're gonna try different things, get into different things. We're gonna do. We did a lot of things this year that we didn't do last year. Do you know? Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, well, I tried the video game thing, but I couldn't. I couldn't log into YouTube from my um from Singapore. I wouldn't be able to do it from Dubai either because of the account bullshit. I don't know. We should. We it. should be able to do it. Let's. We we gotta do it because people do it around the world, bro. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sure no. if you we could figure out that you give me the password. <laughs> I could log into YouTube and do a live stream of me playing the games and going crazy and shit. You'll all laugh at me, man. Um, anyway. No, no, we do cool. that. We do that. All right, cool. We do that. We'll do that. Uh, Judge Dread 2, we spoke about this last week, bro. It was it's, it's in development, man. Carl, Carl, Carl Urban, right? Is that you said? Carl Urban, right? yeah. Carl Urban. Bro, I'm, I'm, we spoke about it last week and I was like, I don't know if it's fake news and whatnot. Turned out to be real. Freaking awesome. Looking forward to it. I hope, I think we've, you know, with, I think they're going to do a lot. We're going to get a lot of, out of this, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course we will, man. And that's, let's see where they go. To be honest, bro, if they do what they exactly did there, sorry, guys, I'm gassy and losing. They do exactly what they did with the first one. Throw us in a scene. Let's go. We don't need to, the one good thing about Dread is we don't need to know. Like, I don't need to know, you know, like, I feel like movies now try and hand feed you everything. I don't need to know his background, where he's come from, or the rest of it. I don't know who the fuck he is. I just know he's bad. He's cool. Let him do his action. You know what I mean? So put him in another scenario. That's a wicked movie, bro, alone itself. You know what I mean? So Well, now we know, Dredd. The thing is, the good thing about it is from the first one, we just we know who he is anyway. Mm. So if there's a continuation from there, I mean, that film was simple. I, I don't know if they're going to use a slow-mo thing. Maybe they try something different. But brilliant movie. I can't wait till they do that. Um, Dread. I could definitely watch Dread again, the first one. So great movie. Yeah. That one, another one that they're doing, which is fucking exciting, is Rush Hour Four. Come on, bro. bro. Come on. That was so. That was so cool to hear. Like I don't know what it is about hearing, you know, about Rush Hour. Hearing Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker working again is just is it is exciting in itself. And listen, those movies are great. You know, the first one's still groundbreaking. You know, to see those yes. two guys to work together. Uh, great soundtrack, you know. Number two was good, number three was all right, but come on, man. Number four, I'm glad them guys are together, bro. I'm happy. It just brings you back. I'm telling you, it's like bringing our generation of stuff that we loved as kids, and I still get to love it as an adult. That's what well, you can't ask more than that, you know. You know, when you look at the, the previous generation, they'll, they'll only be into what they're into because they kind of grew out of what they grew, you know, their, their kid stuff. We don't like we live in an era now where I don't have to grow out of that, bro. You know, I can continue to just enjoy things. You know what I mean? So happy to see that, bro. Good to see them Same together. Man. So excited. I mean, I loved all of it, even part three, because there's so much jokes in it. And it's Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. Like, I mean, like Jackie Chan, obviously, we're a fan of of his style of movies, of martial arts, of stunt. I mean, my, my guy's hitting 60. I don't know how he's going to, or he's already 60 plus. No, he's past so 60, bro. Yeah, doing. that's right. Yeah. Yes, I don't know how he's going to do it, but I know he's going to do some shit. But it's just funny. I mean, just, just the comedy between them is awesome. Uh, bro, I, I, I could watch those movies all three, like, tomorrow. Mm. Um, they're that good, you know what I mean? I could do a little marathon. So I'm excited for that. I love the fact they announced it. It's great to see Jackie. I know Jackie's been making a lot of Hong Kong movies and Chinese movies. Uh, I haven't seen all of them. I've tried to catch some of them and whatnot, but it's I haven't seen him in a Hollywood movie in a long time, right? It's been a very while long time. still. Very long time, So yeah. anyway, brilliant comeback, I guess, if you want to say comeback. Uh, and with Chris Tucker as well, that's going to be hilarious. So Rush Hour 4, awesome. Uh, all right, before we get into the DC stuff, but the last news was that I saw was Terrence Howard announced his retirement from acting. This is the end for me. That was his quote. Um, you know, great career, 
And the one thing that keeps coming to mind, I don't, I don't, you know, was next time, baby. My guy could have been I am a war machine. And it, it, listen, he it doesn't mean it, it diminishes the work that he's done. Don't get me wrong, like not playing war machine. I'm just saying it would he would have been war machine. Rody. You know what I'm trying yeah. to say? He would have been worthy throughout the things. But I like Don Shadell now. I mean, he's my war machine. I have to say he's awesome. Uh, again, it doesn't take away anything from the work that Terrence Howard's done. However. That just would have been icing on the cake that you would have been War Machine in the MCU. Um, that aside, I mean, um, you know, yeah, good luck to him, I guess. No, 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 definitely, man, definitely. Uh, that's a that's a hard thing, man. To he was upset because Robert Downey Jr. was getting paid more than him on the second one, and why not? I mean, he's the main lead. You know, they he took got a paid gamble more than on him on the first one. Exactly. Kevin Tyler got paid more than Robert Downey Jr. on the first one. And because of the success of the first Iron Man, our DJ got paid more. I mean, which made sense. He was Iron Man. Of course it, it does. Like, it, it, he paid his dues. You know what I mean? They, the whole studio took a gamble on him. The director took a gamble on him. The producers took a gamble on him. Even other actors that said, come on, bring him along. We'll gamble with this. You know, so he deserves it. He put the hard work in. I don't understand uh, the... I mean, there's probably more to it, bros. Remember, we only know one side of the story. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, yeah good on him. Good on him. And good especially him. what... I mean, we don't need to go into what RDJ came, came came back from, but what he came back from, and like you said, the the uh, the uh, they took a gamble, and that it started off the MCU, man. It, it started off the most epic, one of the most epic things in cinema history. Yeah, you could deny it, love it or hate it. You know what I mean? You have to accept that it is... It did... It has... I won't say change cinema because it has in a way or just created something, a new avenue in cinema, which is all these universes and whatnot. You know, RDJ responded to, and a few people responded to Quentin Tarantino's recent quote about saying that, you know, these superhero movies, like they're not real actors or superstar actors. These people just, you just like Captain America and whatnot. But you know, what didn't come to mind was, you know, Sam Jackson is, is, is uh, Nick Fury. Like, you've worked with him, Quinton, a few times, you know what I mean? So he's yeah. an actor. And Sam Jackson was saying, like, that's not true also because the late, great Chadwick Boseman, like, you can't say he's not a great actor. Even with Robert Downey Jr., they're all actually, they are acting superstars. Um, they are, they are. They are so, they are. Uh, I think know, he just... I, I think so, RDJ yeah, just said, like... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, Tarantino's got his opinion, and so you have to respect that. Uh, yeah. And maybe he just gave his thoughts on, on it and whatnot. But RDJ was like, listen, there's, I don't know why we're all fighting each other. There's, we're all brothers in the same sisters business. in the same business. We should, yeah. There's space for all of us. So, uh, And he, he even praised, um, he praised, what was the two movies? Top Gun. And I can't remember the other movie, but he praised those movies. He said, look, Top Gun did it. <laughs> you can't say that there's no space for other movies because Top Gun made billions in the in Yeah, the yeah that's so, probably the highest grossing movie of this year, bro. And it was a fucking amazing movie, like yeah, exactly, you know what I mean? exactly. So, yeah. So anyway, great movie. And look, freaking Avatar's coming out. Like that might be billions too. So you know, there's space for it. But anyway, um, bro, the last thing I've got is all the DC stuff, man. Before getting into the cancellation, the other thing I saw was legendary voice actor Kevin Conroy, may he rest in peace, is set to play Batman one more last time in the upcoming action adventure from Rocksteady Games. Uh, so a new Batman games and yeah the suicide the, the suicide squad game so uh Kevin Conroy voice uh the Batman in that one so bless him man uh we got to hear that epic I am the knight I am vengeance I am the Batman uh quote at the end of that trailer which was absolutely amazing uh so I'm happy that we get to see him hear that again as well bro but uh yeah that's that, that that's amazing to hear I think that got a lot of people emotional not many people knew so that was a nice drop as well uh yeah, looking forward to it, man. Definitely looking forward to it. Freaking amazing, yeah. man. Well, let's get into the DC news because that broke news this week. Wonder Woman 3 was cancelled. I've seen loads of other things on people saying they need to get rid of James Gunn and put um, Zack Snyder, who I have no arguments again in place. Uh, I don't know. They've, again, they've made some things, some some decisions. I started hearing things about super Henry Cavill's out again. I think people are just throwing other rumours out there. I'm not sure. But... I don't know. What have you heard, bro? What, 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 what's your thoughts? What, what, what else have I is there that's going on with this? To be honest, bro, I haven't taken, like, you know, a lot of people have responded on, like, internet and social media and 
I haven't really. The thing is, this is the problem. I, I feel I don't know what it is, bro. Listen, a lot's going to happen. It's under new management now. Things are going to change. Yeah. Uh, until like you know, until James Gunn confirms things, people are just going to push out rumors. Yes, a lot of projects have been cancelled. Uh, Batman Beyond project. Uh, there was Wonder Woman three. There's there's loads of beef going interaction. But you know what this does, bro. This puts DC in the forefront of everything. So you can imagine, let's cause a mess over here. This is the rope dope isn't it? Muhammad Ali's rope dope bro. You know what I mean? Let's cause some confliction over here, cause some issues on the internet. And back here, let's work on our plan. Yeah? So I'll put mm -hmm. out a couple of tweets. Uh, we can confirm a couple of things. But we'll keep working in the background. So... It's, it's marketing and advertising on a whole new different level, bro. Uh, I trust what James Gunn is going to do. His movies have proved what he he is capable of. Yeah? So let him continue, bro. I think they're going to be fine. They're going to be all right. Uh, just we're going to hear loads of, you know, projects that we thought we were going to get. We're not going to get, you know? So well, I can't. I was gonna say this, like I, I kind of like if you're looking to reboot a whole universe, yeah, and really bring it up to speed because people are not enjoying the DC shit, and uh, it's not shit for me. I enjoy it obviously, but the DC stuff, uh, movies and whatnot, and people have this perception before they even walk into the cinema that it's rubbed, like the film's gonna be crap. I mean, yeah. I, a lot of people have been cussing Black Adam. They were saying that Black Adam didn't make any profit. The Rock made a tweet saying that Black Adam made about 50 million profit. But I've seen loads of other things saying that the movie was a flop. It didn't read. I don't know. Anyway, the point Bro, you is... You know what? You... We got, like, work. Like, we got, like... I can't even say this, man. Why are people... I, it's a weird one. Why are people caring about stuff like that when we've got all sorts of other first world issues going on in the world? Like, who cares if he made profit? He made he made a movie. He's on the screen. He's making money regardless. Yeah. And people are battling him in the tweets like, ah, your movie flopped, your movie flopped. You're like, dude, why do you care? My guy's making million, millions anyway. You're not good on him. You know what I mean? Like, good on him. He well, puts the work he in. We see him put the work in. So he's if he's not going to make his money there, he's going to make it somewhere else. But the problem is, is that you got these... Uh, Dwayne had a perfect name for them. I don't know what it was. He had a perfect name for them. Like, there's a lot of people that want to just hate and moan and negative, not realising they've got, you know, normal everyday problems to go through. And because they're not going out there and getting it, they want to just get at people that are getting it. Oh, I mean... So that comes that. with everything that you do. But it's a shame that it's got to that extent now that it's gone into the the toxic franchises that we love: Star Wars, Marvel, DC. It will do, man. It will do. Listen, man. Everything is competition. PlayStation and Xbox, Apple and Android, Marvel and DC, Superman and Batman, whatever, bro. It, it it's gonna be like that. Of course, listen. The Rock is a public figure and the most popular, such a popular thing. Of course he's going to get a lot of shit. But we all know the people who give the shit are those losers who really... Listen, you've got to listen to the Rogan and, and um, the recent Rogan podcast with David Goggins. David Goggins mm. is a beast, as we all know. He's a savage, bro, this guy. You've got to listen to him. But he says it, he said it that in himself, that anyone who is hating on you... there's What did he say? There's no haters that's doing better than you. In fact, there's not a single hater out there that is doing better. The reason why they hate it is because they're not doing better than you. The reason why they say something is because they know they're not doing as, as good as you, right? And that's on them. But he's such a savage, what he does. I freaking love this dude. He records all the uh, negatives. And he, you know, when you go out running, you know, he runs like fucking 250 mile marathons and shit. We listen to Rocky to get motivated and be like, yeah, let's go. Like we listen to, no, my guy listens to all the negative comments, bro. And he's like, let's fucking go. Let, let's fucking go he's such a savage he uses all of that as motivation he's such a savage I love you, you gotta love his attitude I, he's so inspiring and whatnot but that's exactly what it is bro like hmm. even him or anyone doesn't matter who it is but bro if someone 
cured cancer right now. Literally, this is the cure for cancer. I figured it out when you take one drop. But that guy is going to get help. Hey, someone's going to be like, oh, look at this fucking idiot. He cured cancer. Oh, woo-hoo. It's like, well, someone will do it. That's the point. Like, there's always going to be haters out there. And those people are the people who will never amount to anything. Or maybe they are successful. They just can never amount to their... Um, their dreams, you're probably not living their dreams, they're probably depressed, they're unhappy with their lives, which is why they would express their negative thoughts on on people, you know what I mean, who are doing shit. Yeah, it's a weird one. You know, like I'm slowly drifting away from a lot of that stuff and like, I'll only post what I need to post and because I know like I need to be present more. I think, suppose, well, coming back from Singapore, I learned that. Um, well, Morgan says it says the best, but post and ghost. Yeah. Exactly. Post and that's what I've been doing. Never, and then never look at I'm it. not on it as much. I'm not scrolling as much. I'm, I just post, ghost, post, ghost. Uh, but now, like, it's it's, it's kind of scary, bro, and how, how, how far it's, it's getting. But, yeah, no, it's the way it is. It is what it it's is. It's not going to stop, bro. It's not going to stop. Listen, sometimes some positives could come out of it. Like I said, if you use it as fuel, like David Goggins, or listen, is it going to affect the rock? Hell no. My guy's in the Iron Studio right now doing his workout doing whatever's next he's still working he's still on it and he's going to move forward and that's how we should do it listen i've heard rumors that even with marvel even all the shit that they've been taking for for uh season not season four um phase, phase four, four that they're looking to do better for five and six like quality of quantity and whatnot hey maybe if it helps people to get motivated to do better yeah why not but listen people are always going to hate where two little t- two brothers that have been doing this for eight years or six, however long now six seven years and we're getting hate from people. It's cool. I don't give. This is why I say to you, I don't read the comments, and I'm not. I, unfortunately, I know you handle all the, but I I don't. You know, I don't read the comments on YouTube or on or our Instagram thing. I'm on Twitter, but I just repost. I don't see anything on TikTok. But yeah, I mean, bro, I like. I don't know with the DC thing. I just see it. I I really am. From my perspective, I'm like, if you are going to give, if you are going to reboot this whole thing without just saying, all right, hard cut, let's start again and try and move into a new direction, you they're going to make some cuts on movies. They're going to say, yeah, 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 of course, of course. Oh, listen, I don't mean to be bad, but Wonder Woman wasn't the best movie, right? It wasn't great. It introduces the character and she's an awesome Wonder Woman. Don't get me wrong. I think she's an awesome Wonder Woman. Um, but if the movies are not great and they're like, well, that's not a great movie. Let's just cut that. We'll bring her in properly in something else. Do you know what I'm trying to yeah, say? Yeah, like, yeah. they'll do it better. They'll do either a Wonder Woman movie or cross her into something else where it's like, listen, we have to reboot this thing. We need to make it better. So let's scrap the shit that's shit and let's mm. start with brand new content. Not brand, brand new, but keeping the same characters because I don't think they should get rid of um, no, no. Wonder Woman. What's her name? I forgot her name. Yeah, I got up. Uh, I don't think they should get rid of her. I, I think she's a good Wonder Woman. I think she's represented that character well. Um, I see her as Wonder Woman. So I would say, mm. yeah, scrap the movies because they're not great and just see how you fit her in into the universe mm. later and see, you know what I mean? Because listen, man, like you, you might like her more as Wonder Woman if she cameoed in something or was, a, was a, in another movie where it's just a better movie and they portray her better as Wonder Woman than her own individual movie, which is probably, which might be shit. And you're just like, man, fuck this character, man. The movie's shit. I don't like the character. Do you know, do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. I appreciate exactly. her more in another movie. So I, listen, I'm still excited on what they're doing, man. I was speaking to my mate Shin. I, I were a few people, I don't want to say names out there, anyway, but they all hated Black Adam. All of them were like, shit. And I was like, I, I don't think it was the, I didn't say it was the best movie in the world, but I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed mm. it a lot. So I don't know. People just don't want to give the DC movies a chance. I think do you know what it is as well. It's, it's just that men. I think it's a mental bias. You're already going in with like this movie's gonna be shit because it's DC. Yeah, no, a then... lot of people say that. A lot of people say that. I think what I've been getting was because uh, you met him, you you love the shit, and I'm like, you know what? If you watch every single review or anything I say, I love all of it. I love all of it, and I'm and I'm being hundred percent honest, and I'm not looking at it as a Oh my god! This like you know, like when we go through our top ten movies of two thousand twenty four or twenty two, you won't believe what's on the top, because because you've said 
if, if people will say, oh, you've loved every single movie. And I, I do love every single movie because for that two and a half hours, it takes me away from the reality that I live in. And the thing is, I don't care if the story's not perfect and the characters are not good. As long as it entertain me, that's what movies are there for. If I could watch Big Trouble in Little China, and I've probably seen that 200, 300 times, and still love it the way it is now, it's not a perfect movie. It's a great watch. So those some, some of the movies that came out this year, it's like Black Adam is a great watch. The Batman is actually a great movie, you know? Uh, everything everywhere all at once is like amazing you know you're talking about story cinematography soundtrack acting that's 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 oscar worthy stuff i haven't seen the whale yet i want to see the whale I want to see the top gun uh, that's top gun was this year top gun was another one look it's not an amazing movie it's not an it's amazing something movie about it it's something there, about it's it not an amazing movie it. but it's a great watch you know what i mean so people need to start living I don't know how I can say it. I, I can't. I mean, this is just me. This is just us. The problem is that I can't change people's minds. You can never I enjoyed it. it. I'm not going to lie to you and say, because, you know, because I enjoyed it, everybody else is going to enjoy it. No, they're not. So whether you like it or not, it's fine. I, I'm yeah. I'm not going to be upset over it. The problem it's is, what is, it is. Like, if people, what people, if, if someone hates something or loves something, they want you to hate it or love it so you could be on their same side. You know what I'm saying? It's always this, again, everything, bro, it's always this tribalism of, oh, if I don't like it, then I don't want everyone else to like it so we can be on the same team. It's like, I don't know why you just can't accept people. You could say, oh, I didn't like it. I thought, shit, it was boring. It was blah, blah, blah. They could have done more. That's cool. Like, but you can't force other people. You can't say, oh, you liked it because of this, this, and that. It's like, Okay, you liked it. I didn't. All right, cool. Well, it, it is what it is. I, I just don't understand exactly. why you have to hate it as well because someone else hated it. It, it don't make no sense. I mean... Bandwagon yeah, jumpers, bro. Bandwagon bro, jumpers. That's all I've so seen. Many, there's so many movies. I'm not saying that they're shit, but I, again, I'm, She-Hulk, I keep... I brought up so many times, man, because I thought it was terrible, but I watched every single episode. Yeah. And there was moments with... with, with Charlie Cox and whatnot that I loved and I'm glad I watched the whole show because of those moments. You know what I'm trying to say? Those little, little moments is what I watched it for. Wednesday, bro, which is a wicked show. Like, I don't know if you've seen it yet, but it's funny to watch it on Netflix. It's so good. I thought it was going to be basic and you watch the first episode, you're like, holy shit, this is awesome. And then you get into it and it's not even, I'm not even, you know, it's Adam's family. That's all I know, right? But it was awesome. So, bro, (laughs) let people say what they want to say. Uh, we would DC, just enjoy it. Look, we man, enjoy. I'm still rooting DC, bro. Regardless, DC Fine, all point. the way. My Joker right there, got the yeah. Punisher. Uh, oh but yeah. I'm, so I'm... before we before we go, Todd Phillips shares an image of Whacking Phoenix. They started production for the Joker two. Uh, looks absolutely amazing. He looks. I don't know. It looks weird, but it's it's on my Instagram. Check it out. But listen, it's gonna lock us off, bro. But I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody that listens to. It. Listen, we don't mean no offense about what you like, and we've never been here to influence anybody. We just tell you what we love. Uh, that's the main thing. But you know, it is what it is. But uh, G man, listen, bro. Have a good one, bro. We'll catch up. I'll uh, see you guys in London next week. Yes. One love, Peace. guys. Peace.